Okay, I'm getting ready to <clears throat> install my serpentine belt kit and I bought the revolver. Uh, this is for March Performance down in Florida. This is for a big block, 383, 440 and Hemi. Anyway, this one, I got it with the uh, the polished uh, AC compressor, uh, chrome plated alternator. I have a remote mount set up for the power steering pump. So this is basically the pump it will go behind this pulley and then I'll remote mount my reservoir over here. So uh, on their website you can print out the directions how to do this. Uh, they're really well done. Uh, tells you all the parts and pieces that come in the kit. Required tools and materials. Uh, lots of nice colored pictures. Uh, so easy. Even this caveman dirt mover can do it. So I'm going to go grab uh, some wrenches and get the purple water pump off. <clears throat> Gaskets are stuck on good. So pull your water pump off and then the next thing you're going to want to do is scrape all the gaskets off. Clean it up good. Um, the instructions tell you to use some sealer on the gaskets. That's up to you. I did not use any sealer. When I put this pump on it did not leak a drop. So that's your call if you would like to use gasket sealer. Okay so I've got my studs in and I got my gasket setting on and the cool thing about this kit is so this is your alternator uh, support bracket and this is your AC one and they engrave them with the part numbers when you open the packages uh, the part numbers are written on the packages but when you get them apart you can't mess them up and then the instructions tell you this is 40723-A this is the the power steering side and 40722A is your AC so you got to have those ready because the pump will go on then these will go on and then the spacer nuts go on and, and tie the water pump down so I'll just set these right here for now Okay, we're going to go on with the water pump. And just slide it on. Then in the picture it shows these going this way and then your part number is on the back. So this bracket's going to go on there. Your AC one is, uh, according to the picture, shows the same thing. That it goes that way. Okay, and then they, they give you these four uh, stainless steel spacers and they're threaded. And then they have a machine surface on this end so you could put a wrench on them and tighten them up. So those squares on there, machine squares, are going to be a 5 8. So I'll just torque this down nice and evenly. Okay, now we're going to install the main face plate and you're going to use these Allen head 3 quarter inch long 3 8 uh, bolts and they're going to go in these countersunk holes in the front. There's four of them. And they're going to go into these stainless uh, extensions that mounted the water pump. So I couldn't find an American size large enough, but I did have metric. This is an 8, and it fits them just fine. So I don't know if they're metric or if I just, it 8 just happens to fit it. So far this is pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Um, you don't have a lot of mechanical ability. Look at the pictures, figure it out, test fit. Uh, you'll be fine. I think a serpentine belt is just absolutely the only way to go for these older cars because I used to run originally it just had V-belts on it and it was always flipping a V-belt. It's like the old 
brackets weren't straight and they had washers under them and they were just they weren't straight okay in order to put the AC on this is the 200 thick 200 thousandths thick spacer and that's going to go on in here and the bolts going to go in from back and then one in from the front so they have a bag marked metric with your metric bolts and then it says you want your AC port facing up I'm going to very carefully get that in there okay it's time to put the alternator on you do the same thing over here you use a 35 millimeter long M8 nut and this bushing to attach it to the top through here and then on the bottom we got a three and a half inch long 3 8 bolt that goes through okay I'm gonna save you a ton of time and trouble so when you put these brackets on the water pump and you snug these bolts down don't do it and the reason is is because if these brackets go up or down it sets your AC and your alternator wacky so once I had it bolted up I had to undo these to get it to sit right otherwise it wants to bend this top bracket but the problem is I couldn't completely tighten this top nut with the AC in there so I had to take it back out now I've already done the alternator side and retorqued them down so this bracket can't move that way everything's lined up I had the comp AC compressor on here when I loosened these and got everything straight and now I'm going to tighten that back down now back together on this side had to do the same thing so the alternator because that lower bracket was down it was cocking the alternator and I had a huge gap under here that's the issue you're going to have with those rear brackets is when you put them in by gravity they're going to fall like that and that's not going to line up so my suggestion is you're going to have to put things on one side do one side loosen these jam loosen the allen heads in here loosen the jam nuts get your back bracket where it needs to be Retighten your jam nuts, retighten your Allen nuts, move to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, I've got the AC and the alternator on, so the next step is to take these four idlers and install them. Now, one of the great things about this is the way they package everything, it's very well packaged and protected. Uh, lots of packing. All the nice shiny stuff is wrapped in looks like paper towel and then protective material like uh, this is the chrome piece that goes over the front of these it's wrapped in a paper uh, to keep it from getting damaged so what you're going to do that'd be the back side right there and take this uh, 3 8 bolt with a flat washer put it on the front and you've got four of these to install in these holes right here just take a 9 16 inch wrench and snug them down get another one okay on to the next step uh, unkit with power steering install the power steering pump to the power steering bracket using 3 m8 by 25 millimeter Okay, this is going to bolt on the front of the front bracket. Pretty simple. Okay, that bracket will move around, so don't really know if that's going to affect anything when I put it on. Yeah, we'll, we'll mount it on and see what happens here. So this is... Okay, I'm going to save you some more aggravation. In the instructions, they do not tell you what bolts to put in this power steering pump. These are metric. There's two metric screws left with Allen heads that screw right in. Half metric, half American. It's 
just bullshit. I'm sorry. That's what it is. So, on the power steering pump, it doesn't tell you what bolts to use. Uh, they are metric, so use metric. Uh, alternator, uh, AC compressor, and power steering pump have metric threads in them. Everything that came from March uh, performance, this bracket, everything else is American threads. Okay, I'm going to install the alternator fan. Uh-oh, and did it. Nice going, Jeff. Totally nice going. Went the wrong way. Ooh. Okay, the alternator cover goes on. You use 3 832 by 1 inch screws. You take a 9... Was it 932 Allen head? Other tip too is they send you a wire for this alternator and because it's plated it's got a ground terminal here and you've got to hook up that ground terminal and get a good ground for it. And you're going to torque these little babies to exactly that much torque. Okay, that's the last of your metric bolts over there. And these are, they call them button head. It's a Torx. It's a T25 Torx to screw these in. Okay, that's not working too good. Houston, we got a problem. Just had to loosen a little bit. Hope they stay put. Okay, we're going to install the water pump pulley. And you use uh, 4 5 16 bolts by 5, inch, five eighths of an inch long. They're pretty short. Pretty short. And you do all this while all the stuff's in your hand and you can't see the holes. It's easier to put it on the stub and then rotate it to find your holes. Tip of the day. So your water pump pull and your power steering pulley are made with what looks like a cover and your bolts go through it. So it's pretty simple. But lining up the holes on this is not going to be so simple because there's no, doesn't seem to be a nub of any kind. Oh, looky there, I got it the first go round, huh? <laughs> oh, shoot, now I gotta get another one in there though. So that's crazy. So your power steering pump bolts are metric, where it mounts. But where your pulley goes on, it's American. Could it get any more confusing? I'll have to torque this one with the belt on it too, because there's no way I'm going to be able to get it tight tight without the belt on it and hanging on to her. Okay, these covers go on the idler pulleys with some 632 screws. Or 8. I think they're 6. 32, 32, whatever. If I get all this together, I guess I could go get a belt for it. But I'd rather buy my belt at my Napa store because I have an account there. And when you have an account, you pay less than a cash customer. Go figure. These are really pretty simple to put on. They really haven't had any trouble lining them up. I better put some of these on my Kenworth. <laughs> Okay, one of the things I noticed with this is they give you just enough of each size of bolt to accomplish this each task. So this is not like a piece of Ikea furniture or something where it has extras and all that. So make sure that you keep good close track of all your little teeny screws and all your bolts. Or you will be calling them for replacements. Okay, time to installate the crank pulley. There we are. We're installed. Okay, this is your belt to set your tension. 
it's like a tie rod. You've got one that's left hand thread and one that's right hand thread. Like that. And then you use this after your belt's on to pull the tension because this setup does not have a tensioner like your car. So this tool is what you're going to use to tension it with. 81.5 inch serpentine belt. With That's with power steering. 81.5 if you have power steering, 71.5 without. Anyway, there you are installed. Uh, it was fairly straightforward and simple. The pros to this, uh, really like how well of a finish it, it, they put on it. Uh, they wrapped it super good so it couldn't get damaged. Can't say the same for the water pump. Uh, the instructions could use a little fine tuning. There's a few things they left out, but I figured it out and you could do it too. It's all doable, so there's $2,800 right there. Now I just need a belt, a uh, radiator, condenser, an interior, <laughs> a gas tank, well, cooling fans. Other than that, it's a very nice kit, very well done. I looked at, a, at some other brands, but March Performance had the biggest selection for Mopar stuff. So go check them out.